Hi, I apologize for that. Nagkamali. Something went wrong with the screen yard, but we're back. I'm sorry for that one again. Okay, so we have four issues na pinag-uusapan natin. Four issues so, uh, over the week, which are yung shootout, yung PNVICs, yung Senate report, at saka yung nangyayari sa Bureau of Immigrations. So, dun sa shootout, we had already explained that the last thing that the President had been saying is that yung in ano pinapahold niya in abeyance yung mga investigations of the Senate and the House and in fact pati yung sa PNP and PDEA yeah, their own uh, investigations are all, likewise held in abeyance until the NBI finishes its in own investigation i apologize that we were interrupted so if you you know if you don't mind, please don't forget to like and share again. And don't forget to like and follow sa Luminous. At saka don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I apologize again. This is not going to happen more often. Pero I appreciate na bumabalik kayo, na bumalik po kayo. Okay, sabi ni Red Ketchum, naging issue din ba yung tungkol sa pagpatay ng isang Amerikano sa isang Pinoy? Pagpatay. Uh, which one is that? Ang alam ko is the rising rate of hate crimes sa US, uh, which we will have to discuss ultimately, di ba? Uh, let me just uh, study on that one. It will probably be in Karambola tomorrow. Ngayon, in the meantime also, uh, so the other issues that we have not discussed are yung sa BID and, and dun sa Senate report on red tagging. Okay. Yung Senate report on red tagging, natapos na po yung investigasyon at ang nangyari po dito is that uh, while the Senate admonished General Parlade to be more circumspect, there is no recommendation for prosecution, there's no recommendation for an administrative case, they're simply telling him na mag-ingat-ingat sa pagsasalita because if you issue an opinion, then it might be taken as a statement by the NTF, LCAP, or by the AFP. However, the more important part of the Senate investigation is that sinasabi ng Senado natin, hindi po crime ang red tagging. Hindi kailangan gawa ng batas. And sa ngayon, if nare-red tag kayo, then it is very, quite simply, you just have to file a case. <laughs> Ganun na lang ang sinabi nila. Sabi ni Albert, feel am na ni Luhuran sa leeg. Ah, yeah, that one. Well, I think we'll be discussing that tomorrow kasi sa karambola. Okay, sabi ni Rain, walang mahirap sa obvious kasi si Chucky alam naman natin ay isa siyang iyak. Uy, grabe, na nagpapapizza. Pwede na rin palang papizza ang suhol. Sabi ni Eric, kung doi ko, to naman ang sinasabi ng general, sabi ni Eric. I agree. I agree that it is quite possible that it is true. Pero siguro this is something we have to explain. Um, okay. Um, uh, we can't go around accusing people. Eh. Kasi you can call them ano, communists. No problem. Pero yung pagtatawag, for instance, na you are a uh, front organization for the CPP or NPA, that is amounting almost to an accusation that they are terrorists. So, we, yung mga accusations of a crime, we need to be careful about that kasi magiging libel yan. Okay? Uh, we need to be careful kasi we can also be prosecuted for that. Okay. Uh, weekend roundup. Okay, just looking at more, ano? Uh, sabi ni Dante Duran, salamat po. Sabi ni Ian Coral, parang, parang nasoklak si Nicole Menares at red lipstick kasinyo dun sa committee report. Oo. Sabi ni Senayda Natividad, we're back, we will not let down at any fix, you know, lots of how to learn. We, we, lots, we know how, well, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Hi, Chev. Okay. Uh, Ernest Escobar says, okay, held in abeyance ang investigation, at least hindi sa SOCMED where there are so many experts, lawyers, and ballistic experts in Marco. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, I don't know, very recently, I had an opportunity to talk to Dr. Erwin Erfe of the PAO. Tapos, di nagchichikan kami, nabanggit ko, uy, ako archaeology. Sabi niyo, oh, dapat kasama ka dun sa team ng PAO. Kasi, uh, you, we also investigate, archaeologists actually investigate very, very cold cases. So, we have to study, uh, uh, of course, geology, uh, genetics, uh, which I just took up last year, um, uh, chemical and uh, biochem, you know, things like that. Uh, for for depending on kung ano yung major track namin. So yung mga ganon, well, there are a lot of experts in various fields whom I don't mind hearing from. Pero ang, I think what is pointless on social media is yung makikipag-away pa tayo sa isa't isa. Samantalang hindi naman tayo involved dun sa investigations. Ako, since Ano, tignan niyo yung presidente din, no, what he's doing. He's being very, very careful dun sa dalawang panig between PDEA and PNP. And no matter what the evidence that comes out, hindi nagsasalita or walang nagsasabi na, you know, this side is, ano, did, did the right thing, this side did the right thing. Wala pang ganon, maaga pa po. Later on, we will see what the evidence is and we will see what the conclusions that the NBI are going to make. Question lang, saan napupunta yung CDF for pork barrel ng leftist congressman? Meron po bang accounting na submitted kung saan napupunta? Yes, ina-account po lahat yan. All of those are subject to COA. But they don't get that. No? None of the congressmen or senators ever get their CDF, at least personally. No? Ang nangyayari dyan is they identify which projects. So halimbawa, uh, most of that goes to the DPWH yung congressman lang mag identify o oh, saan kalye yan pupunta, anong project yan pupunta, and so on. Ngayon, yung iba, hindi doon. Like, pupunta yan ko nari sa TESTA or some other organization or a government agency or uh, in some instances to NGOs. Okay. Sa, ay, 2.30 a.m. in California. Sabi ni Marge De Vela, hindi po ba pwede tanggalin na lang mga communist groups sa Congress Katulad ni na Elago at Sarate. Kasi in the first place, it's not illegal to be a communist. Diba? Matagal ko nang sinasabi at ulit-ulitin po natin. Pag sinabi mo, kailangan tanggalin natin yung mga communist uh, groups sa kongreso, you'll have to tell me why. Diba? And if you're going to say dahil nagsusuporta sila sa CPTNP, kailangan pong patunayan yan because mabigat na paratang yan. On the other hand, may mga rules for disqualifying uh, party list ano, party list diba? may rules para dyan so yung isa uh, kinasuhan ng NTFL CAC, yung Gabriela for receiving money from a foreign government if I'm not mistaken bawal yon. so yun nag-file ng disqualification ng NTFL CAC so if you want them out kailangan map- mapresintahan at mapatunayan na itong mga grupo na ito either labag sila dun sa rules ng COMELEC on maintaining their good standing as party list uh, representatives or as a party list or merong criminal case ang mga yun. Okay? Uh, sabi ni Joseph Wadid, talaga dun eh. Question lang, uh, yun pala yun. Uh, the pizza issue, sabi ni Tatay Strauss Fernandez in the Supreme Court raises so many eyebrows and puts the integrity of the justices in a big question mark on the people who believed in them. Okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I cannot read your name. It's in Japanese. Is it really necessary, for example, the Philippine Embassy here in Japan, they are closed, both the calendar holidays for Japan and Philippines. Nahirapan kami mag-visit sa embassy. Too many holidays. Is it really mandated that way? Sabi ni Kenji. Yes po, it is. Okay. Uh, hang on. My dog is, ano, is angry. Hindi na naman siya na, ano. Guys! Hold on. Abby! The dogs! Okay. Sorry. Dapat kasi merong term ang party list, sabi ni Humphrey Baltasar. I agree. Kasi kung ang individual, leave it open. If the individual congressmen are going to have term limits, di dapat the parties have term limits also. I agree. Uh, sabi ni MCKE, Maverick, 
sana mag-file ng kaso yung mga representative na naredtag para magkaalaman na hindi naman nila kinokondem ang CPPMP. Yes, but the failure to condemn is also not a crime. Kasi in the same way that we are free to speak, we are also free not to speak. Okay? Baka nafrustrate kasi kayo. Yun yung problema. Nafrustrate kayo because uh, yung mga ganito requires evidence. Hindi po enough yung alam naman natin lahat na NPA yung mga yan. Yes, but our suspicions are not sufficient to deprive a person of some rights. Sabi ni Duane, kaya nga dapat hindi na maiboto ang mga leftist hanggat hindi nagkakaisa eh mahirap matanggal ang mga yan through technicalities. It's not even a technicality kaya sila na, na, nandyan. Uh, they're there because they get the required number of votes. Mababa lang kasi eh. On the other hand, kaya mababa yan, uh, it's because we want the marginalized parties to be able to participate. Yung problema is that the law that was created here allowed, and in fact the constitution itself, allowed ano, parties. Hindi yung mga marginalized sectors lang, pero actual political parties. And these political parties can be very strong political parties. Pwede pa rin silang magkaroon ng party list. That's why Bayan Muna, which is a political party, gets to see it. They're not a marginalized sector. Hindi lang sila makapanalo ng senador, pero nakakapanalo sila ng kongreso. Uh, sabi ni JR, dapat sa party list yung kandidato ang binoboto. Hindi, that kind of defeats the purpose. May block vote ang NPA, sabi ni Rain. Mm, yeah, but that also means dumami sila. Diba? That also means tayo, kulang din tayo sa pagpapalaganap ng impormasyon. Don't blame this on the government. That's us. That's on us. Kasi very vocal naman tayo sa, ano, sa social media. Majority naman tayo, pero we're not able to, ano, to, to defeat whatever arguments the left has so that they can actually recruit and convince other people. Kailangan, we got to step up our game, guys. Hindi dapat tayo puro away lang ng away. We have to be able to convince people that that is no longer acceptable. Sabi ni Ernest, uh, Totoo ba yung team ni Lenny as president and Lila as VP? Lenny may put, well, I saw the streamer. I, you know, it's done to death. Mad, mabilis ako magsawa sa jokes, so please don't, you know, belabor it. Sabi ni Oliver Tolentino, ano po nangyari sa kaso ng nangyay sa Toro Campo at yung ACT party list? I am not sure. Uh, I think it might have been dismissed. Sabi ni Cornelio Marcelino, Suggestion ko lang kung pwede yung mga comments po ninyo at nila Boss Conrad sa Karabola, magandang gawing libro for reference, very educational. Lalo na sa economics at law, most especially sa sarcastic remarks na kakalift ng spirit. <laughs> Sabi ni Pablito Bendesho, ang una yan na alis yan ay ang mga namumuno sa Comelec. Sila talaga may kasalanan kasi pinapayagan nila. The problem is, um, Ina-point naman ni Presidente karamihan ng mga COMELEC commissioners eh. So, it means na really there's something wrong there. <laughs> so, yan, sabi ni Chev, yan ang maide-deny ng infamous influencer. Kaya natahimik ang SOCMED ni John Vick mula nung nabisto si McCoy <laughs> Manoy Dacuses, Weng Guanzon, Dilawan. Yes, but she's just one. O sino pa yung iba dyan? You know, it's a collegial body, ha? Each branch has three commissioners. Oh, you, you can't blame the whole thing on Kom Weng Guanzon. Sabi ni Tatay Strauss Fernandez, originally party lists are supposed to represent marginalized sectors and small, a.k.a. outnumbered political parties. Bayan muna, bayan among others, do not claim to be a political party nor sector. No, they claim to be a political party. You have to have a category. Uh, 
Sabi ni Balz Obakne, what should be the best approach for the government to end or eradicate the Reds? First of all, if you're a communist and you're red, that's not a crime. So you can't be eradicated. Diba? First, let's get our terms straight. Ha? Reds, communists, activists. These are all legal. So if you're making a mistake pa rin and thinking that they're illegal, you have to correct yourself. Kasi mapaprescrate kayo kung bakit hindi natatanggal yung mga komunista. Kasi hindi illegal yun. Diba? Sabi ni Margarita Solis, mabuhay po kayong dalawa from the country of smiles. Saan po yan? Sabi ni Rain, buti di ko sila pinapanood ni Mimi Yak. <laughs> Dahil sila yung kabaklang kanal group. Grobe, bakit kailangan sama yung gender? Hindi ba pwedeng kanal lang? Isdang kanal, ganun. Just finished watching the arrival of the sign of that vaccine. Sabi ni Daisy Collis, I got emotional seeing hope for our fellow countrymen, love from Ireland. Ay, naku, madam. Ipunin niyo yung, ano, yung emotional, yung pagka-emotional niyo na yan. Kasi mamaya, itong mga, ano, nasa kabilang parlor, hihirit na yan ng reklamo. Bakit kung gawin na lang legal ang Communist Party para di na sila mag-deny? Legal na po kasi. <laughs> Hindi naman sila nagde-deny na komunista sila. Nagde-deny silang terorista sila. Ah, hindi. Okay. Ayan. Sabi ni Ma'am Mia, may Sinovac. Ay, wala. Okay. Sabi ni Chloe Jamika Altamirano, may any comment on the latest vlog of BBM? Bukas po sa karambola yan. Okay. Sabi ni J. Neil Dolorfruto, ano na po ang nangyari sa batas para sa hybrid elections? Di pa po gumagalaw sa house. Anne De Leon says, good evening, off topic, but since Sinovac has arrived, is it true that PRRD signed the law for mandatory vaccination? Wala po. And laws don't come from the president, they come from Congress. So, no. No matter what people tell you, there's never going to be uh, rule for mandatory vaccinations. It's possible, halimbawa, na it will be required for kids who are going to go to school, but that is understandable. Ba? It's all. It might also be required in certain workplaces. Sabi ni Rain, bakit laging absent si Atty. Larry sa karambola? Hindi ka nanonood. Kung nanonood ka, you would know that he's on leave. Sabi ni Elmer Bernardino, the only way to end the insurgency and yellow manipulation is through true and proper information. Correct. So let's start with the fact that communism is not illegal. Sabi ni Archie Sullivan, ang NDPA po ang illegal. Sabi ni Tapo Mubay, di makukumpleto ang gobyerno pag walang komunista kasabi. Hindi naman po siguro. Sabi ni Dars, Bombuhay, buti na lang andiyan kayo para live na po muna sa mali ng iba. Be strong po. Uh, I think that a lot of people are doing this anyway. Sabi ni Joseph, sa pagpantay ko ng karambola, 9 a.m. Thai time, na nakaka nakapamalengke, na ako nakapamalengke, kaya minsan order na lang ng lunch. <laughs> if not mandatory, is there any waiver for us to be signed if, if Ever, we don't want to be inoculated. What are those clauses on the waiver for COVID-19? Wala pong ganun. Kasi nga bago kayo turukan, kailangan ng permission ninyo. Hindi po kayo forcibly pwedeng turukan. But it would be perfectly legal if your workplace or your school will require you to be vaccinated in order to be present in their premises. Okay? Valid po yun. Sabi ni Chev, as per Jimenez of Comelic, the automated election still pushed through. Uh, in short, no plans of hybrid elections. Well, they can't plan if there is no law. Wala pang law eh. Sabi ni Demo MP, sa next election po ba, smartmatic pa rin? For the moment, that is the presumption. Unless biglang magkabatas. Sabi ni Harley Mack, if the government uses private corporations in handling that MVs, please use a publicly listed corporation as they are reported and monitored by SEC. 
they always use publicly uh, listed corporations because it is a required uh, requirement for bidding. Sabi ni Maritel Cortez, as a police officer, dami kong natututunan sa inyo, nakaka-enjoy din sarcasm ni Attorney Ahmed. Hi, siya lang. Bias, bias. Okay. <laughs> Edward Leones says, Hi from Rome, Italy. Thank you po sa so walang sawang pagpapaliwanag ng mga tunay na nangyayari sa bayang sinilangan. Okay. Meron pa tayong hindi na discuss yung BID. So yung last na issue doon sa BID, of course, yung may hinuli ang NBI doon sa premises ng BID. Pero ang hinuli nila ay isang private person, uh, supposedly a fixer. Tapos ang kasama niya, three Chinese nationals na supposedly handed over money to them, to her, to the fixer, para daw uh, asikasuhin yung papeles. Ito yung tanong, where is the crime? Ba, hinuli nila. And ang tanong, nakulong ba? Kasi ano nga yung krimen? They can only hold that person for so long. Pag time na para i-charge, ay good luck kung hindi sila pagtawanan ng biskal. Sabi ni Manoy, dako, morente out, gambuwa in. We don't know that. Uh, pwede po ba kung pumunta si DWIC sa October 8? Sabi ni Handan, Abu Jr., it's my birthday. Yes po, as long as, well, normally po, we will take in uh, visitors after the broadcast or before. <laughs> During, kasi hindi namin kayo maaasikaso. And then, ako kasi, I have another show, so we have a few minutes after. But definitely, yes, you can go to the studio. Uh, you need to coordinate with R.D. Malano here on, ano, on Facebook. Uh, sabi ni Emers and Mig, hybrid elections, wala pong update sa encourage nyo us to email our senators and congressmen. I did email them. Yes, and we will keep following that up. Tanong ni Carponi Dawson Noriega, putting in po yung personal bias ninyo, do you think healthy yung tandem ni Sarah Bongbong and may mga visits na si Bongo sa mga LGU, baka pwedeng Sarah Go o Bongbong Go? Peace po. Um, no comment on either one. That's why ayoko na nga mag-comment eh. I like so many of the candidates. It's going to be difficult. Of course, may preferences ako. Hey, it would be suicidal for me to say that right now. Uh, let's see. Kasi pointless magsasabi ka kung sino yung preference mo pagkatapos hindi tatakbo. Ay, di patay. Rendezvous says, PMVIC, I think the problems being raised aren't inherent, but rather how it's being implemented. It's like saying if the government is far up, then we should scrap government together and every man for himself, which is wrong. Lagi na lang bang nawawala sa isipan ng iba na this is about safety of everyone. I like this comment. Sino nagbigay nung, ano? Uy, thank you very much kay Ma'am Donna for the super sticker. Ma'am Carmela is trolling me. Block. There you go. Jay Neal Dolor Fruto says, dapat maalis yung nakapalibot kay PRRD na nag-filter ng tunay ng mga pangyayari sa bansa at sa gobyerno. That's a good point. Sabi ni Alfredo Ugad, Ugalde, hindi ba pwede yung routine maintenance record ng casa as alternative to vehicle inspection inspected by manufacturer themselves? The law says kasi that the LTO must inspect. So they can have a delegated function. They can contract that out. So kailangan i-contract nila doon sa manufacturer if ever. Sabi ni Ian, ano ba yan? May mga basher, linggo-linggo. Uh, to be fair, ko konti lang talaga ang bashers dito. <laughs> may waiver naman, so may iba kaming kasamahan na di natutur naturukan. Tapos na kami last week sa second dose, pwede nang magbakasyon. Uy, ganda. Sabi ni Eric Badudz, Johnson and Johnson. Vaccine, lapit na po mag-roll out here sa US. One shot, 85%. 100 million doses sa US. 
Sana sa Pinas rin magkaroon, good morning from Boston. Sabi ni Chev, I'm voting for someone who will continue Duterte's policies and projects including Build, Build, Build. Ayoko maulit muli yung nangyari sa Belgian dredging na cancelled kasi project ni GMA. Good point. I like that. Sabi ni Manoy Dako, is the mandatory vaccination requirement at work a violation of the Safe Spaces Act? Of course not. The Safe Spaces Act is more a sexual harassment law than a vaccine requirement. Elmer Bernardino says, si Dilima, bago pa dumating ang vaccine, uy, grobe ko yun. Uh, si Dino Gantala is happy na nakahabol siya. By the way, yung pagkamaman, ano, when workplaces require vaccines, that's illegal, ha? Sabi ni Eugene Marsan, God bless you always, and greetings from Taiwan. Sabi ni... Enies of Ferrario, Sarah and Go, pero kung ayaw ni Mayor Inday, okay na din si BBN. Sabi ni Ma'am Mia, walang holiday yung tools. Alam mo naman, kailangan kumayod, ba? Tigas nga ng mga mukha, natawagin tayo yung bayaran eh. Kapal! Cornelio Marcelina says, babysitting, washing dishes inside the laundry room. Karambola, headphone, Canada team, si Keep Safe. Ah, uh, Jonathan, boss ng twin ko sa NLRC. Uy! Bakit sa UAE mandatory? China, SARS, COV-2, gamit nila nga. Bakit sa atin? Di pwede. Constitution. Uh, may ano eh, right to bodily integrity and right to privacy din yun. Eh. Yun, from Abu Dhabi, ang Pilipino nga naman, hindi makontento kapag walang vaccine, reklamo. Ngayon, andyan ang vaccine, reklamo pa rin. Kailan kaya titigil itong mga nega? Never! Uh, Lawrence Abba says, just an FYI, Johnson & Johnson is applying for emergency use in USA. Johnson & Johnson uses a single-shot vaccine. Uy, nice! Marisol Lariani says, good evening, greetings from Singapore. Maybe says, sana yung one shot na lang yung vaccine yung si Johnson and Johnson. Sabi ni Chef, shout out po sa pet ninyo si Harry. I don't know, masungit siya ngayon, he has a toothache. Eh? So he has to go to the, he has been to the doctor, he has to get um, a prophylaxis. Sabi ni Eric Badudz, dalawang sister ko na nurses here sa US, twice na silang di nag-agree magpa-vaccine. Kaya di ka pwede nilang i-force kung ayaw mo. Oo. But you have to undertake the risk of that. Uh, sabi ni Ma'am Maria, tama sila naman na dilawan, lumalabas na may binabayaran at nabubuking. Sila naman mga dilawan, lumalabas na binabayaran at nabubuking pa. So, sila nga yung may ebidensya dyan eh. Nababahala si Senator Risa, sabi ni Azaya. Dahil may eroplanong pandigma na nakapasok <laughs> sa Villamore Air Base, nakakaloka ang lola mo. Ay, nako. Ay, nako talaga. More power to you, sabi ni Marifel. Karambola fan from Leyte and Booth One City. My munchkin says, team replay muna ako today kasi ang daming gagawin. More power. Brian, Malino says, shout out from Taif, Saudi Arabia, nakahabul pa. Nga naman. Uh, anong oras na? 6.51. Uh, your thoughts on Senator Gotteran as president or VP? Will he be enough to defeat Lenny? Well, we'll see. Kasi we have to update the surveys. Kailangan yan. Pag palapit na ng palapit yung election, every so often, dapat linggo-linggo na nagpapasurvey yan. Eh. So let's see. Personally, I like Senator Go. But let's see first. Hindi pa nga siya nag-a-announce. Natatakbo siya. I don't really like speculating. Mahirap na hindi tayo manghuhula. Uh, sabi ni Ariel Malikdem, ano po masasabi niyo sa mga nagmamarunong na 40% pa lang na ayos sa Marawi since 2017 until now ang binabato nilang 40%. 60% just in one year. Ano ang ginawa the last four years? Ay, ano ang ginawa? Na marami po kasing issues of, among other things. One, yung pag-clear ng mga bombs. Kasi 
may mga tinanim na landmines yung mga terorista doon at saka may mga unexploded ordnance. So that took a while kasi what you do is you scan every square foot of the area. What? One, two, yung rubble. Kasi may mga buildings na declared unsafe. Hindi ka basta-basta makakapasok doon. Uh, so before they were able to tear that down, inspection na yan. But before you could inspect, kailangan uh, safety check siya. So can you imagine going every square foot of the area doing that? Number one. Number two. The, the, there were issues about the land titles of the area. So uh, even now, I think they're sorting those out. Hindi po madali ang ginagawa ng gobyerno dyan. Just sorting out the land titles, para sa akin niya, that might have taken a generation. Pero mabilis pa yung natapos nila. Parang walang Supreme Court session on ATA ng Tuesday. Wala nga po, sabi ni Jose Bautista. Inaantabayanan ko yung end of day roundup mo. Salamat ang marami. Uh, meron this Tuesday. Last Tuesday, wala po because may nag-test positive daw one, of the, one or two of the justices. Uh, they're not saying who. So just to make sure na ma-quarantine sila properly at saka ma-test. So hindi muna nag-hearing, ano, nag, nag, nag oral argument. Jamshid says, maganda po yung bagong message ni Mayor Sarah about dun sa mga sumusuporta sa pagtakbo sa kanya. Ay, what did she say? I didn't see that. Dan says, hindi ko po maintindihan ng mga tao noon galit sa pagsusuot ng face mask at face shield. Ngayon na may vaccine na, galit pa rin sa gobyerno sa nalulugar ang gobyerno ngayon. Third, Levista says, walang session, may nako widow na justice. Emmer says, ano po allocation ng first 600,000 vaccines, frontliners from Greater Manila muna? Uh, frontliners, hindi necessarily all from just Metro Manila. Uh, they have a choice. Yung mga frontliners po, binigyan sila ng choice. They can get the, the Sinovac or they can wait for the later one. Um, yun lang po yung update doon. Ryan says, so, opinion ko, mas madaming aksidente sa daan na ang sanhi ay kalasingan kesa sa hindi updated na maintenance na sasakyan. I think dito po sila nag-focus. But you know, even if more accidents were coming from uh, yung kalasingan, it's still necessary to make sure that the cars are roadworthy. Kasi pagka, ano, pagka tumirik yan, kahit hindi aksidente, it causes traffic. ba? Guys, a lot of combinations will be coming out. Uh, Sarah and Bongo, Sabong, or Sabo, or <laughs> and there will be so many combinations of that. Huwag po natin pansinin every single one, or ako at least, hindi ko po papansinin every single one. Um, magre-react, magre-react lang ako pagka yung talagang gustong-gustong-gusto ko na. Yung para tingin ko, perfect, huwag na tayong umalis dyan. <laughs> Sana yung unless we're otherwise provided by Lonnie Lord, sana inayos niya yan kasi kung gawin niya yan for essential projects or land reform area, okay sana yung amendments kaso sablay talaga siya doon. Kung hindi na po kailangan for land reform, may land reform act na po tayo. Um, essential projects actually, dapat bawal yung unless otherwise provided by law kasi masyado pong malawak. So, babawalin din po ng Supreme Court yung ganong klaseng pag, uh, pag-draft. And to be fair with uh, Congressman Velasco, with Speaker Velasco, hindi po siya yung nag-draft noon. It was the DILG po. Pwede po malaman if you have any update about SEC decision on DVBO. Uh, hindi ko po po alam ito. Uh, I have to check on that one. Hindi ko po alam yung issue so mahirap po magkomento baka magkamali tayo. Thunder Boy says, 600,000 vaccines means only 300,000 people will get kasi two shots yan. Yes. Uh, it's okay, sabi ni Josie. Ang vaccine, kaya magpa-vaccine na po kayo. Ako, since January last month, okay naman po. My mother, who's a senior citizen, already got her vaccine. Two doses na po. Ilang million po tayo? Tapos, twice babakunahan, kailan matatapos ang pagturok? Sabi ni Mario Lorena. I think that what is important is when we're going to get started. 
may bill na po ba sa hazard pay ng sweepers ng national at local employees? Sweepers? Uh, hindi pa ako sure po. I have to check that out. Bakit po ayaw nila sa si MVIC? Ayaw ba nilang secure and protected ang mga nakasakay sa sasakyan? Sa Riyadh po, bago kayo makapagrehisto, same test po, dapat ipasa. Bigal po ba pag-approve ng presidente ng DBP sa loan ng ABS-CBN, even without collateral po? Uh, meron siyang violation ng isang central bank circular. So pagka ganun, uh, and banking institutions, at the very least, will be administratively liable. Uh, sabi ni BJ Kanz, hindi lang malawak, malabo pa unless otherwise provided by law. Yes. Pero like I said, ha, give credit or blame where credit or blame is due. DILG po yan, hindi yan kongreso. Tinanggap lang nila. Remember, it was the DILG who conducted the, ins uh, the signature campaign. Okay? Teddy the Great, Teddy Great says, umubra na po ba kadlamahan ni Morente sa BI? May pamalit na po ba si Mayor? Umubra na bang kadlamahan? Hi, ewan ko ba bakit andyan pa? Tapos, hello? O nga pala, hindi pa pala tayo tapos sa updates. Doon sa BI, of course, may moromorong pag, ano, pag aresto daw so isang fixer. Pero at the same time, etong Friday, aba, biglang nag, how do you call this? Arta attack. <laughs> surprise inspection daw ang ARTA at saka PACC. Seriously, PACC naging surprise inspection and for what? Diba? Hindi ako naniniwala na sa mga ganyang gimmick eh. I mean, I like the brothers, Melita, and I'm sure they're up and up and and, uh, and uh, upright. Pero anong gagawin ng ARTA para mag surprise inspection? Anti red tape sila. So ang binabawal nila yung pinababalik ng pinababalik yung Uh, yung humihingi ng government service. So, yun yung purpose ng kanilang ahensya at saka batas. Ang tanong ba, what? What are you doing there? Uh, bakit di naging issue yung finality to send na batas na aakuin lahat ng PRRD ang vaccination sa lahat ng mga adver magka adverse effects sa vaccination? Kasi overtaken by events na po siya, um, na-file na po yung vaccination bill Uh, yung indemnification bill nandun na po, na ipasa na po, na pirmahan na po ng presidente. Ah, dagdag na 1,000 namin sa SSS. Hindi ko pa po naaaral yung kaso na yan sa initiative ni Santang to, to, ano, to study that. Hindi po tayo magpokomento kung hindi pa tayo nag-aaral. Jamshid says, naayos na po ba problema ng field health since yung taga NBI? Uh, nililiquidate daw nila yung 15 billion, hindi pa po tapos. Matagal talaga naman mag-liquidate doon. Kailan po matutuloy yung oral arguments ng anti-terror law sa Tuesday po? Si Greco may umaalingasaw na raw sa kanya kasi may issue na binalita ang isang DDS vlogger about it na mukhang pinagtakpan na yung scandal sa duty-free. Ganun pala doon, yung mga nasa SNR galing doon. Ang alam ko lang po, both the brothers, yung head ng ARTA at yung head ng PACC, ay finayla ng kaso sa ombudsman. Yung kaso, finail by attorney Ferdy Papasho and Citizens Crime Watch dahil nga doon sa, ano, sa kanilang uh, conflict of interest. Uh, tinatanong ni Gilbert, ano na po nangyari sa kaso ni Leonen sa Congress? We're waiting for it to be referred to the Committee on Justice. Anong pwede natin gawin sa si dismissal ng case ni BBM? Tila mahirap na rin pala magtiwala sa Supreme Court ngayon. Let's not judge it on the basis of one case. Ah, very unusual lang ka, kasi talaga. Well, let's wait for the resolution bago tayo mag, ano, magpasa ng ganyang klase ng judgment. Watching from KSA, I ask your opinion about Gold Duterte 2022. What is your analysis about the tandem and is it possible? Of course, it's possible. Mm, but let's see. Ako, I don't like to speculate. Eh. Para sa akin kasi, lumilitaw-litaw yan eh, yung mga ganyan. To gauge people's reactions to it. That's why I don't like to react. <laughs> 
Sarah, of course, and you know, I like I like them both. I also like BBM. I also like so many other people, de ba? I mean, I like Manny Pacquiao, but I love him as senator. I'm not sure how I feel about him running for president. Yeah. Tapos na ba talaga ang pet ni BBM against Lenny? Hindi pa nga po. Wala po yung resolution. Vivian Hickley says, Good morning. Magkakaroon po ba ng vaccine passport dyan sa Pilipinas? Well, it's being proposed. Keep safe. There some pieces. May alam po ba kayo sa repeal ng CB CPD law update sa Congress? Hindi pa po siya nare-repeal. Bumukha na naman bibig ni Lenny Robredo tungkol sa COVID vaccine, sabi ni Ermini Apita, na dumating yung dapat daw duma dumaan muna sa masusing pagsusuri. <laughs> She does have a tendency to repeat herself. Sa health technology, dapat ba ganun? Ay, naku, nakikinig pa kasi kayo. <laughs> Popoy Acid said na, siguradong di na po tatakbo si Sarah kasi daw bata pa siya. Kung si Bibi ay magpresidente, malaki kaya ang chance. Di po kasi ako sugarol. Uh, let's not gauge the chances of somebody we're not sure yet is going to run. Dito sa UK, required ang yearly MOT ng mga sasakyan. Pagbagsak, ipapaayos ang sasakyan hanggang para pumasa. Kasi pag walang MOT, you cannot get car insurance. No car insurance, you cannot drive a car on the road. Good day po. Postpone mo na ni PPRF ang elections this 2022. Who is PPRF? Sana ang lineup next term is Sarah BBM as president, tapos Amy as Senate president, Manny P as majority leader, then Martin as speaker, and Pulong as majority floor leader. Good point. Why not pulong as speaker? As bagay, puro all in the family na. No? Ano ba naman ang Supreme Court? Inihayag na ang kanilang pa siya tapos walang resolution. Bakit naman nila inihayag nang wala pa yon? My point ka doon. Michael Alava says, sa kaisa pa pong tanong, bakit hindi po ipatawag di Presidente Digong, Presidente ng Bibi Pilong? She has no direct control and supervision of these people. Na si Orbosa kasi sinasabi niya na wala daw pong ni right off ang Lopez na utang nila noon. Mas pinaboran po niyang Lopez kaya na high blood si pang defensor sa kanya. Actually, hindi ba nga ang presidente ang nagparinig kung bakit pinigil yung investigation na yon? So, I don't doubt that the president had a hand on this Congress investigation. If Congress investigates and sees that there's a possible crime there, you will refer nila po sa ombudsman. Bakit kailangan pa natin idamay ang Pangulo? Masakit sa bang si <laughs> Lowell says, sana po tumakbo si Madam Lenny for entertainment. I agree. Parang mamimiss natin siya pag nawala siya. Bakit... Sa dami ng kaso ni Triliana, sabi ni Ruby Tanlin, hindi pa siya nakukulong. Because nag-hearing pa. Eric says, matalong ko lang ano na po kalaga, nangyari sa kaso ni Bautista, yung may kapatid sa Oklahoma. Paano magkakaroon ng kaso? Hindi siya hindi. Hindi tinaimbestigahan ng NBL. Wala. Tumigil yung investigasyon. Pagbaba ni PRRD, baba din ang ebidensya laban kay Delima matulad sa tatlong senador. I disagree. Green Big says, same din po dito, UAE, need ng vehicle inspection before ma-register ang sasakyan. Ultimo po tire expiration. Sinecheck din. And last two. Sabi ni Hump7, ang pet ay merong maximum na matapos within 2 years lang. Sayang ang bayad at mawawala ng kwenta ang boto ng tao at integridad ng komilet ay nagsihingalan na pala. Damay sa S sa integrity. Alam mo, and this is important to know, hindi lang po, the pet case wasn't just about the recount of BBM and who won. The pet case was a, supposed to be a judgment on the ano on uh, how do you call this on the on smartmatic 
And that was a missed opportunity there. It wasn't, di, kaya nga pinilit ni BBM, di ba? Okay lang, tumagal. Ang mahalaga is that this becomes uh, an assessment of how, ano, of how Smartmatic has performed. Sabi ni Gina Fes sa Guban, pagtanggap ng budget sa paghanap ni Bautista na nahimik ng MBI. Allowed na po ba si President Duterte na mag-declare ng postponement of elections this 2022? The President cannot do that, only Congress can. And they have to do it by law. Alexei says, may basihan kaya yung sinabi ni Trililing na maraming ikakaso kay TRRD after his term? They can try. Nakakakuha tuloy tayo additional info about sa rules sa ibang panties by other leaders' comments. Nakakatuwa. O nga. Yan, hindi naman kaya antay Marcos ang andyan sa PIO ng Supreme Court, kung sa lungat ang resolution ng Supreme Court na ilalabas ng PIO, baba ang tiwala sa Supreme Court. Well, ganun po eh. Uh, I don't know. We can't make a conclusion about how the PIO performed here until we see the resolution. For all you know, tama sila. Na, napanood nyo na ang bagong vlog ni BBM about sa protest niya, madidelete kaya yan kasi diniscuss niya yung merits ng case niya. Well, if tapos na po yung resolution, pwede na niyang i-discuss yun. Uh, sabi ni Eric, natulog na pala yung kaso ng NBI kay Bautista. Yeah. Tingin ko natakot sila para iboto ang party list nila. Tinatakot nila. Hmm. Ang pinaglalaban ni BBM ay hindi na ang maupo siya, kundi malaman ng taong bayan ng kalokohan ng Smartmatic. Sabi ni Ruby Tan Lim. Uh, we have to be grateful to BBM for fighting for the institution. Yes, on that note, our recap. We had uh, four major issues this past week in shootout, and the president has requested both Congress and the Senate na huwag muna silang mag-conduct ng investigations in aid of legislation, but rather to let the NBI finish their own investigation. Actually, this can be a permanent thing, and tuwa ko lang, because investigations in aid of legislation tend to pressure the law enforcement agencies to come to a particular conclusion. Because they can be browbeaten, as we can see that Congress and the Senate, uh, sometimes they get carried away, the congressmen and the senators. So we don't really want them to do that. Uh, the other issue is the PMBIC. The president ordered that it become voluntary and yung mga i-require na lang is the emissions test. Pag nag-PM, nag-motor uh, vehicle inspection ka kasi, then kasama na po doon yung emissions test. The Senate report on red tagging basically says that General Parlade should be a little more circumspect in his opinions, but there is no need to pass a law on red tagging, so sa madaling sabi, it's not a crime. Uh, the BID... Uh, the NBI conducted a bust operation within the premises of the BID and they caught a fixer, supposedly. Now, what's the crime? They didn't say. Ang sabi lang ng BID is that they're no longer uh, going to accredit the law firm and that person will no longer be allowed inside the BID. Hmm, kakaiba. Uh, in the meantime, with surprise, inspection on our touch at the ACC, bringing along a lot of reporters and only one or two stories came out in the media because, let's face it, it was a dud. What were they there for? And does Arta really conduct surprise inspections tanga ng media with the head of the agency coming in? That's really a little too far. Rolando Ibanez says, kung ikaw po ang Supreme Court, ano po hatol niyo kay BBM? That's not a fair question, sa totoo lang. <laughs> I already gave kasi my, ano, my opinion on this one. So it's not fair to say if I were the Supreme Court. First of all, the people who sit in the Supreme Court are so much smarter than I am. So parang, di ba, parang tinanong niyo ako, ano ba naman ako, di ba, para magbigay ng ganong klaseng opinion. What I did was, I studied the the sides of the parties and what the Supreme Court says. And I nearly, 
uh, explaining it to you. But if I was to come up with uh, a reason for its dismissal or not, or to uphold uh, either of the either the petitioner or the respondent, I don't think it's fair. <laughs> Sabi ni Rain, uh, hybrid elections. He was explaining hybrid elections. Okay, last two. When is the best time para palitan ng 1987 constitution o kaya, kaya bang palitan niya? Is there ever even a best or a bad time for it? When, there's, when it's not working, we change it. But we change it because the people want it and it can no longer deny the, the, the swell of support for that. How much support is this charter change getting? Uh, we can browbeat people into changing the constitution, but you really need to find the, ano, the groundswell for that. In Kumbaga, it's so overwhelming that Congress and the Senate cannot ignore it. That's how the system works. You need the Congress and the Senate to confer in changing the constitution, whether it is by constitutional convention or by the Congress sitting as a constituent body. Either way, you're going to need that kind of groundswell. BJ Tan says, yun sa shootout, di man lang. Oh, by the way, dun sa nagtatanong tungkol dun sa ano, when is a good time to change the constitution? If you are baiting me, and I mean this with all seriousness, if you're baiting me so that you can take my remarks and bash me on another page here on Facebook, I swear, ha? Huh? Not only do you, you know, it, it makes you an awful person. Because that's what happened eh, before. Ay, parang wala akong, hindi ako pwede magbigay ng sarili kong opinion. Binabash ninyo yung opinion, opinion ko, because it did not coincide with the opinion of some people who wanted to change uh, the constitution in a certain way. Fine, go ahead, do it. Do what you want. Pero just because people don't agree with you doesn't mean that, ano, that you get the right to bash them or that you get to become more credible simply because you have a difference of opinion. What the feck? Sabi ni Alex, paglipan, alisin ng Smartmatic, tama yung kay Glenn Chong. Rain says, kasama mo ako sa issue na yan, sabi ko sa inyo, infiltrated na sila. Who's Who's sila? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Mark De Jesus says, nalilito ang mga tao kung ano talaga position ng gusto ni VP. <laughs> Why are you worried about what position she's running for? Ako, I don't even want her to disappear. She is so entertaining. Minsan health expert ko, no? Kung minsan DSWD. <laughs> minsan naman parang international relations agent. Minsan naman parang model na lang ng panayang photoshoot. Grabe kayo. Funny, pero grabe. <laughs> Tinatanong ni June Malonzo kung may balak daw akong kumandidato sa next elections. Hindi po. And probably never. <laughs> Bakit po yung mga appointees ni PRRD para walang, parang walang say tungkol sa hybrid elections? Anybody who could possibly benefit from the old system, syempre isn't going to talk. <laughs> diba? Or people who might be prejudiced by talking against Smartmatic. Of course, we'll be afraid to talk. Diba? And I think in some, in, in that sense, it's really not fair. <laughs> Ang lakas ng Smartmatic, they can make you lose. Yeah. Uh, bakit po yung, uh, ayan. Emmer says, election May time pa ba to, to change the election system to hybrid? Yes. Kasi it's easier actually. You don't need the counting machines. All you need is, ano, uh, ano ba to? Uh, an uh, iPad type thing, tablet. Chev says, at, ra at rain. You mean the one who aggressively calling out support over FBI? Ayoko nang banggitin yung tao ngayon. It's just not, ano, it's just really so unfair that if you disagree, you become automatically somebody who's going to be beaten up and browbeat and ano. 
simply because he disagreed. In fact, that's the complete opposite of what we're trying to say here. What guys, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Harry, nobody's taking you away. Come here. Harry, come here. Come here, come here. Okay. Sorry. Sabi mo, Harry, time to stop na daw. <laughs> Sabi ni Chris, nagagalit yung dog ni attorney sa mga dilawan. <laughs> Actually, nagagalit sila dun sa mga mahihilig mang bash ng, ano, na, ng tao simply for believing otherwise. Diba? Dito naman kasi, what we're saying is that we have to keep open minds and to understand the situation. Kung bakit nagkakaganon. Why are people voting a certain way? Why are people sick of the system? Why are people doing this? We go into the why and then we also explain how come hindi natin maisulong ito? Bakit, for instance, bakit he, yung mga party list na ayaw natin, na mga komunista, bakit hindi sila natatanggal? Because we have to have a legit reason. And being a communist is not a crime. And therefore, hindi natin sila matatanggal simply for being communist. Di ba? Kailangan may violation sila. Either ng administrative rules of the COMELEC or meron silang krimen. Na, no, or the, the, the organization, guys, the organization is committing uh, a crime or violating the law. So... <laughs> Most people don't understand. Harry, I'm going to pick you up. Most people don't understand that, again, being a communist is not a crime. Uh, not condemning the CPP and NPA is also not a crime. But uh, a vocal support is not a crime unless the vocal support is to support an act of terrorism. Yun. Okay, last question. Sabi ni Vicente Aviles, maganda daw yung backdrop ng mga paintings. Okay. Um, the, this one is Tam Uraw. The other one is a Duldulaw. The one uh, there in the corners by Nicholas Studley. I forgot the one in the ano the the yung sa dulo also by Nicholas Tudley's friend so ah yun one of those socialites so yun. Malamig sa lamat sa pagsubaybay ngayong araw na ito sa live natin. Chika tayo talaga pagka weekends and don't forget to ano to if you have time to send mermaid bakes cookies. Um. Ano po ba? And of course, don't forget there's Karambola tomorrow. So reminder ule, don't forget to like and comment and uh, follow on Luminous here on Facebook. And don't forget also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, alam niyo naman po sa Facebook, we are still throttled. Pero because the people here are so supportive and you're always on the page and you're, you're always liking and sharing and commenting, yung reach natin has increased. It's not at the same level as before, but it's still increasing. And our, you know, we're still, we're, we're among the highest in engagements among the other bloggers. Of course, the, the top three are still the top three, but we're getting there. And Ano, yun lang. Maraming salamat. I hope you all have a good evening now. And don't forget to subscribe to YouTube and like and follow sa Luminous. Guys, good night. Please stay safe. Hand washing, face mask, face shields because they're required. Have a good evening wherever you are in the world. Uh, or a good day wherever you are in the world.